Welcome to week 12 of Ray and Lorenzo. Hello. What the fuck How are is you? this? Hey man, those are my notes. Give them back. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Did you ever work that hard in high school? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you like my printing? Hey, so listen, this week's uh, results, let's get into it right now. Oh, you want to go straight to the results this Why week? Why not? Interesting. Interesting. I want, but by the way, what did I do? Guaranteed victory. What do we got, Gary? And the odds makers take a beating. Ray with six wins, Gary with six wins, and my man Lo with seven. No! <laughs> and hello. Wait, wait, wait! How is that possible? And hello. I had it and here. Hello. I added them all up. And hello. I'm saying three games were and hello. And hello. <laughs> no, this is wrong. It's preposterous. It's totally ludicrous. Get your hand out of my pocket. <laughs> Get out of little monkey! <laughs> all right, fine, fine, fine. He said, all I right. still don't agree. I don't even know what to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Lord, 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 Lord. What happened to you, buddy? I don't know, man. I'm a little, I'm perplexed right now. I can't say anything. I don't think Ray wants to do the show anymore. I don't either. He's he had fired up. He saw it. Now, I thought for sure it was a lock. But by the way, my three locks, right? Okay, well, your lock, Cincinnati, Cleveland, right? Yes. You killed it. Killed it. 120. Blow out. Give him six. Okay. Blow out. My lot. Well, hold on. I yeah, took two underdogs on second, locks, right? Actually, all of my locks were underdogs. I pushed on one, Baltimore against Chicago. One on both others, which were Tampa Bay and Oakland. So yeah, that's pretty good. I thought you did good. That's all right. Well, I didn't get fucking seven. Yeah, you didn't win. I mean, but you got to be. You got to realize you're playing against me, so it's that's true. It's kind of tough. One arm wrestle? No. Uh, <laughs> you gonna fight? No. <laughs> you guys want to make what's, love? What's threesy? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh wow. Ray, Ray's doing perverted things with the microphone. Am not. We get to see it. Actually, get to see it. He's got, it's getting filmed today. So Ray's a German, so you can't hold it against him. All right, let me go ahead and apologize for the audio quality. We're, uh, we're improvising today. The main studio was busy, so uh, we're, we're, we wanted to give you guys a show. So we're, we're going to be a little bit different than usual. Not everyone's got their own mic, but... Uh, Ray's gonna run the show, so I'm sure we'll be right, fine. Alright, so hand, hand it back to me. <laughs> Alright, let's get let's get this going. By the way, good job, Lo. I think you're what we're in week eleven. You've probably won seven or eight. No, I think me and me and G's been pushing time neck and neck because we're probably the, the astute people in this group when it comes to football and sports. You on the other hand, Falcon. If we were talking about birds, <laughs> you would... whoa, whoa. my favorite bird, by the way, <laughs> peregrine <laughs> falcon. What are you doing? Yeah. I'm just saying, and, that's my and, listen, bird. and for our, now, our viewers can get to see this. Now we're going to tell you why he's the Falcon. Now take a look at this dude. Oh, I, see I, didn't, that. I didn't put any oil. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to do anything. Just get out. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I know I'm looking good though, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, let's felt. Let's go. Let's go with this. Uh, we got New Orleans tonight. Why are you going straight into that? What about this bullying stuff now in college that these high, these college kids are talking about the coaches are bullying them now? Don't you think this we've opened a Pandora's box in the sporting world? I yes. actually... No, I don't. And here's why. Here's why, Lo. Now, you got this kid from Stanford, essentially West Coast Ivy League. Really, really bright. Both parents doctors. Now, if you're... What's his bucket? Incognito. You're the man, I get it, you're a bully, I get it, but discretion, you know, you gotta know when to push and when not to. Now, Is it you the locker room right? exactly where you push? You do push, but, but you're, there's limits. About, we understand that was a bully, we understand that bullying. We're talking about now college kids are going, oh, the coach bullied me because he was getting them and their parents are saying, I want guys fired. I just think that now, since Pandora's box has been open, now you having coaches that have to watch what they say, and now coaches get, if sports, why do people are great? Because sports push them. In corporate America, why do guys usually get hired that played sports? I don't care if they didn't play in the professional, but most people that are successful in life, look at Adam Carolla. He played sports. He was a boxer. People Me that too. usually were that look at not you. But Gary, <laughs> Gary never Gary played, any played sports. sports. What the no, fuck he are you talking what about? did you play? I played travel ice hockey for like fucking eight years. Yeah, Gary didn't play sport. any sports. Context. That's a contact sport. Right, but I had no, a when you were a Canadian game, dude you yelling played, at me to not get a fucking shot drink up. of water. Shut you played the fuck pop, up. You That's played, exactly sports. You played Pop Warner, right? Of course you did. You played 
played soccer. Probably 30 years of, of, of football. Now, you knew there were certain kids you could push, and you had discretion with the ones you could and ones you couldn't. You did. I know right, you but did. we're not talking about kids, too. We're talking about sometimes coaches. And I understand come coaches go out ways. But just think about Phil Knight, how with the Indiana, Indiana, with the coach, basketball. Yeah, he was. But do you know what now? If he was coaching now, they would Bobby, fire him. Bobby Knight, yeah. they would say he's bullying. But you don't understand. But so this that's guy's what Texas Tech. Too. I know. He that's what I'm talking about. in the fucking some closet of the, for some six of hours. These, some of these coaches, you got to realize. I'm not saying you, you got to have you got to have limits. I get that. But you have to realize some of these kids come from broken homes. Some of these kids don't have any discipline. They've been spoiled. And these coaches, the first time they get cussed at or got any get, get in trouble, kids, yeah. these kids all of a sudden now want the coach get on them. They want to say, oh, now they're talking about he's bullying me or he's doing this. I think that you got to have a checks and balances. But I think this thing has, this Pandora's box is open and I think it's not for the good. You're now people are stepping in and they never really even been an athlete. Now you have the media and so many people that are stepping into arena and saying, oh, you can't do that. And they know nothing about. So you're destroying and you're hurting the character and you're hurting the demise of a, of a, of a, of a culture that helped build men. That helped made our country tough. Why does the military? It's a team sport. Why is our you know all of our athletes and different things? Because you have to be pushed. Why are you so lazy? Because no one pushes you. Hey, but I you have get a two coach. Mexicans you get right guy. What are you talking about? <laughs> you I get go. a coach. Work. Coaches make guys better. They push guys beyond their comfort zone. They push women. They push kids. They make them better. And what happens usually? Those kids come back and say, "Man, I had a great coach." Most of the people in the workforce that have great coaching background or great coaching skills that push them, they're usually more successful. So now they want to talk about bullying of the coach and parents are all oh, my bully my kids. Well guess what? Maybe you didn't discipline them. So I, I understand if you're hitting a kid, that's bad. You can't do There's that. A line. But you, there is a line. But I'm gonna turn on D2. D2, can you say something about this? Yes. Here's the problem and uh and, and you tell me if I'm wrong. You tell me if I'm wrong, you tell me if I'm wrong. I would say seven out of ten coaches are borderline worthless. They can teach X's and O's and it stops after that. So we keep talking about great coaches. Great coaches won't have this problem. I know a high school water polo coach like that. <laughs> We're looking at it. Yeah, I'm one of the greatest. You, Thank you. Know, you. you know what? I saw a documentary about um, Vince Lombardi and the guys who played for him, oh. which was fantastic. Oh. And every one of them, oh. hold on a second, all of them were super successful in business afterward. And they all chalked it up to him. I mean, they said he laid the foundation, and you know that would have been a locker room to see. That's and he sure. probably let bullying run run rampant, uh, rape, everything. Yeah, everything. It was just of nuts. course. What's no. in your cup, D two? What do you have right now? What are you going today? Little uh, vodka and energy drink. That Doctor Oz <laughs> is calling the. Uh, <laughs> Unbelievable. Listen, medical science has proven that moderate drinking is healthy for the body. Especially at 8 a.m. You're right. <laughs> Get you got it in a science, coffee. Really. You got it in a coffee cup. Things are looking good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I just look at it it's in a couple ways. You know, they say that coaches aren't a lot of X and O's. You, you, you made a statement that you said seven out of you know seven out of ten are not great coaches. High school, I would say maybe I would say seven out of ten. You, I would reverse that. I would reverse that. That you say seven out of ten probably don't know coaches don't know X's and O's. No. Oh, okay. I, I, my my belief is in my experience in my hypothesis I believe that seven out of ten are coaches are not and they're inapt as far as teaching X's and O's teaching basic fundamentals of football or different sports. Yeah. And they've been given jobs because the school has to fill you know bring position. put a yeah. position. So it's really not now in the elite schools of course you have guys in coaching. But I think that I think that for more than those coaches, I think the majority of coaches are leaders. They are fathers, and they do are, are mothers. That they really do have good intentions. But I think a lot of them don't know how to coach. Yeah, but I, that's first and foremost. What you just right, said. I that's, think that's their role. Right. right. Well, but too many of them live vicariously through their teams. I, I, I agree, but too many you, of them. But when you get on the college level, well, you got the pop Warner thing. Where right, it's, it's the dad. dad or right, some weird dude. You know? Right. So, but I think that when you get on the college level and the and the and the pro level, I think that these guys do know football, Absolutely. and I think most of these guys, most of these men and women, 
I don't feel that they're just coaches. I feel that they're parents. Who's your best coach I think ever? that they're parents. Jim Sweeney was an Irishman that came from Brute, Montana, and he would whoop any of our ass. He'd say, look, I'm tired of all you black guys talking about Watts and Compton. Look, my father was a coal miner. I had to fight my way growing up. But beyond being great coaches, which they absolutely are, by the time you get to the college or Thank pro you. level, you are an amazing motivator. Like that's what that's the point of this bullying thing is that everyone's saying it's bullying, it's bullying. How do you take a college athlete who's good and turn him into Ladanian Tomlinson or Lorenzo Neal? You push the shit out of them. And frankly, probably to their breaking point a couple of times a year or something like that, because that's what you have to do to motivate these guys to get everything out of them. And that's the difference, is that people are saying it's it's bullying, it's bullying. Sure, maybe, but bullying motivates you. When you get bullied in high school, you fucking start lifting weights so the next time that happens, you can fucking push back. Like, I, I couldn't agree more with Gary. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, I had nights that I would cry. Not on the field, but I, with my coach, because I knew Jim Sweeney, if you messed up, I hated going to practice. If I fumbled the ball during the game, I was like, shoot, that whole night I was just panicked. I got, or Jim Moore, I'm like, man, I gotta go in this team meeting. I missed my block. Marty shot him. I knew that they were going to call me out and on yeah, the yeah, film yeah. and do it. And it was a form of bullying, but you know what? They saw and greatness. They showed him a loop. They like shot. Yeah, times. and they go, What are you doing here? What are you doing here? That's guy what walking across. What are you thinking? Yeah. Why are you thinking that? Well, dumbass, you know I, wanted to, I didn't mean to mess up, but I phoned. So, like Gary's saying, these coaches are there to be an extension of the parents, and most of the parents aren't parenting. So now these coaches have to step in and take an active role in their life and make decisions and saying, like, you shouldn't be dating that guy because he's not good for you. They make decisions because he's How going to try to take you along. Lose? And if you should, I'm talking to D2 because oh, okay. D2 has some situations. <laughs> oh, you, oh, I don't know about your boyfriend. You keep that for yourself. But um, <laughs> there's a lot of times that these coaches, they have to step in and be in. You know how many of these kids come to them and say, hey, coach, I got a girl pregnant. Hey, coach, I'm, I'm pregnant, a girl. Oh, and these coaches nice. have to step yeah. in and be, they don't want to talk because they have a better relationship, even though that coach is that asshole. Yeah, He's also that more parents, better yeah. than what their parents so. People got to just, I think Pandora's box is open, and that's what me and Gary are saying, that now people that are socialists and the left wings, they want to step on and say, yo, they're doing that, that's barbaric, and what are they doing? They don't understand our country is the best country ever in the world. Mess. It is the it is the best country ever, it's but it's, be, it's the best but, and a mess. But it is becoming the most confused country because what people feel is freedom and right now they're taken for granted and they're feeling it soft. So our country is getting softer because their paradigm has shifted. Everyone wants to step up and say, do this and now, oh, it's okay. There is still right and there's still wrong. And if we don't right the ship and start changing the pendulum, oh, we're right. losing our athletes. We're losing our superstars. Why do you see an RG3 talking about, oh, well, you know, I knew they knew what they was doing. If you're a defensive coordinator, you don't even know football. I'm a, I'm, 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 no, no. Just he's projecting, he's frustrated, okay? I mean, can I he's tell got you? a decent hey, range. Coach. Hey, coach. Why, why are you mad at me? Hey, coach, here's yeah. the deal. I'm just gonna basic football, because I'm not gonna go with Gary, because Gary knows. So I'm just gonna go with you, and <laughs> I'm gonna go with you and D2. You're a defensive coordinator. All I'm right. an offensive coordinator. I'm playing four games. You play four games. I'm going to play you. As a defensive coordinator, what are you going to do? Are you going to watch my offense? I'm going to watch for your tendencies and I'm going to call the right defense. And I know you're going to do that, so the player's got to make a play. Right. You're absolute. You just said, and I didn't even rehearse that. You just said, I'm the defensive coordinator. I'm going to watch your tendencies and study film and watch what you do. See what you do. You got nine plays. You run them again and again. You got two certain formations. You Let's just all tells. agree that football is a barbaric point for thick skull people, and until we can get rid of it altogether, society can't move forward as a civilized society from this point on. Speaking of moving forward, okay, yes, uh, let's go. Okay, New Four Orleans, on. New Orleans at Atlanta, minus nine. This is this is really easy, super easy. You want me to go first, Bob? I already put an R next to it. I'm going with New Orleans. Atlanta's not a team. They're done. They're over. No line play. No nothing. We all agree, New Orleans. That's an easy one. Really? They Make it a lock. Make it a lock. It's a lock. Yeah? Duh. All right. That's your lock then. Low lock. Got You're it. You're so stupid. <laughs> That's your lock. I'm choosing, so, I think I'm going for eight locks this week. All right, next game at Detroit. Detroit, by the way, flailed last week. What's up with that fake um, um, 
field goal. Hello to Pittsburgh. What are they doing? They had that game. Big momentum change. And Ben Roethlisberger's a bad man. Very, very he bad He played man. well. Everyone said that he wanted to get traded. they said in court. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Everyone said he wanted to get traded, and he stood up and played well. Okay. I don't I'm, think they. I think they faked that field goal out of intimidation of the uh, goalposts not being extended high enough. I told Corolla that again. I'm taking. I'm taking Detroit. Yeah, really? I'm taking Detroit as well. No, go not, Tampa. You love Tampa. Jim Shorts, you love scared. Tampa. Oh, no, I put Tampa. You love Tampa. You know what? I'm going lock on that. Jesus How about that? Christ, are you nuts? No. All right. Ray just likes to say the word lock. He loves it. Lock. That's how he got most of his dates. Lorenzo, that's not funny. Wow. It's okay with day two. Well, I'm hurt because when we walked in the Just studio, have a you ignored me. I didn't ignore you. You most certainly did. You went You're incognito. You have like a plaid and plaid going. You have a hat going. I don't know what's going on with you. Okay. Apology accepted. The head down, walking all dumpy. In your presence? Why wouldn't I put my head down? There you go. What do we got next? Hey, Gary, by the way, what do you have? Uh, so, he I, said Detroit. Yeah, I said Detroit. All right. Yeah, I got Detroit. Okay. Next, we got Houston hosting Jacksonville, giving 10. You got to read the lines, by the way. Um, what lines? You got to say what the spread is. Yeah, minus 10. Okay. I'm going Jacksonville. F it. I'm going Houston. Hey, listen, they won going, one, they flailed, going, uh, now they're coming back. I'm going, uh, I'm going Jacksonville. You sure? Yeah, switch over then. No, we're tired. That's fine. <laughs> Duh. I just, right. uh, Houston is in turmoil. I mean, do you see the, the best receiver on the team walks off the field and said he's done? And the, 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 the quarterback, they put him in for... Uh, yeah, just, Kubiak's uh, going to have another heart attack. Yeah, man, I, mean, I, I don't know. And what happened to the uh, J.J. Watt? How's his year going? J.J.'s kind of... I don't know. I think that team's... They packed it up. They have a oh, den. Yeah. Okay, Minnesota at Green Bay. And the line is four and a half. You know who I'm going with. Can I say who's given? Given four and a half Green Bay at Green Bay. I'm going with Minnesota. I like Minnesota. I love I'm going, AP. I'm going with Green Bay. That rivalry, <clears throat> the fans are going to be going nuts in Green Bay in late November. That's and they've lost their last two. Yeah, I mean, I listen, I'm not saying that it's a lock, but uh, I still like Green Bay. Well, what do you got? Yeah, I just uh, Green Bay, for some reason, just, uh, well, this is, a, this is an <laughs> ugly game. Super. I'm gonna. T God. Wow. I'm gonna go on a limb and take Green Bay. Good. These are ugly. This yeah. is ugly. All right, we're at Kansas City minus five against San Diego. I'm taking San Diego as the underdog. Really? Yeah. I. Uh, I it's that it's that time of year where I start to get faith again. Why? Just so that I can be crushed around. Hey, time. with Philip Rivers in that pubescent mustache that is so weird looking, I, how could you dare jump on that wagon? No way. How dare because you? I don't pick sports winners based off facial hair. I do. I'm so taking, you must be a Red Sox fan. Guess so. I'm taking Kansas City. I'm going Kansas City. There you go. They just got beat. They're right at home. San Diego's, oh, they're going to shut down home of the Chiefs. Oh, in the home of the Chiefs. By the way, that's, wah, that's, wah, San Diego, wah. that's what it's been <laughs> That's San Diego, the last two minutes with that last possession, how much did it flail? Yeah. Well, c compare that two-minute drill compared to um, New England's two-minute drill. By the way, New England got rooked last week. They didn't get, they got roped, not, they didn't get roped worse than the San Francisco 49ers. 49ers got roped. You're going to talk about roped? Roped. I, 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 I think the Both Niners, teams did. Both were I think Niners were worst call. Gronkowski couldn't catch that ball. Gronk could have made a play. I Gronk mean, the guy like boxed him out. He, could, he, he couldn't have made a play. You don't think so? No, no. Here's the deal. We'll never if the, know. If the ball, no, only thing that here's the two things that I think about that play. One is this. If the ball's thrown up high and Gronk yes, could go, yeah. and call, even if he was, even if it was thrown at the back, they would have kept the flag on the ground. Now, here's my only concern why I think that it should have still been a flag once it was thrown. He should have never threw it at, took it out of his pocket because he said, hey, look, he didn't have should've a chance waited. to catch yeah, it. Should have waited. It. Then after they looked at it, they understood the ball was uncatchable. It was at the ground. He couldn't, he couldn't catch it. The guy intercepted it. But what's the difference in a guy 
Off it's line. totally face guarding. I mean, but you I mean he's he, pushing him out. He's, he's not making a play he, on the ball. He, he didn't have to because he was totally. It was even if even if Brock wasn't there, he could. It was impossible for him to catch the ball. Not impossible. It was not, no, It was possible, but not probable. Right. But let's it say was if a guy was playing the ball. If he was playing the ball, he would have been turned around. He could have gotten an angle on and planted and then went for the ball. Yeah, now, I'm not saying was the other guy was three yards ahead and played the ball, you know, caught it in the basket, bent over. I get that it was, you know, a little bit on the I think it was a good call, but I think it was a, the makes it, what makes it a bad call to me. I think you're right, but here's what makes it the bad call to me. If you and I, you're playing offense and I'm on defense, and we go at it, and I beat you, and all of a sudden the play's over, and I all of a sudden hit you, they throw the flag for unsportsmanlike conduct. Right. No matter what, if you're if you're that defensive player, if you're if I'm offense and we just had a big play, and you did that, and I'm on offense, you're on offense, you hit me back, and the ref sees doing the play, you yeah, do you're something. The flag. So that play is now comes back. So, so it evens it out. It evens out. Yeah. So the play would be that play wouldn't exist. So my point is this. If you were successful in a big play and a guy does something stupid, the play was wiped out. So that's the penalty. So when that flag's on the ground, it's no different. Even though you had nothing to do with the play, even though mean you had nothing to do with the play, you hit me, did something illegal before why the play was going on, there's a flag and the play comes back, right? Yeah. So and that's usually the same. calls always even out. It's, usually. But my point but is, but your point, but that's your, sus, but that's your point. Unless I'm making, the refs have money on the game. I'm making your point. The point is, this is what you're saying. I'm saying, I'm saying, if you and I are involved in a play that has nothing to do with it, and then you, your quarterback throws a touchdown, because I hit you during the play or held you, right. they bring it back. True. So they should have brought it. They should have made. So once that flag's on the ground, you shouldn't be able to pick it up. Right. You should. You have to make a call. Yeah. That's what you should have delayed on the call. Right. I mean, or speed it. Next. Where are we going? Green. Okay. It's uh. We all. Okay. Me and you took Kansas City. And next one is Carolina giving four and a half at Miami. Oh, this game's brutal. All right, I can't, you know, Cam Newton bugs the hell out of me. Did you see him at the end of the two minutes waving the camera away? Like, hey, I'm too nervous. Don't put the camera on me. What the fuck is that? Which makes camera You weirdo, not want vain the freak. You. you know, come on, Cam. They're, Dude, they're, they're on iron, though. Dude, yeah, I watch them. The way they're playing defensively, Ron that Rivera. Is nuts. 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 Hardy, Keeley. That kid's good. What's his name? White kid. I don't know where he's from. The linebacker. What's his name? You know? Well, I don't know. Anyway, he's. So, who are you taking? I'm going to be stupid this week. I'm taking Miami. You know, weird thing, I'm taking Miami, too. Oh, God. Well, the dis. Uh, the, hey, the thing about I'm it is, Miami. I want to take, take Miami, too. Because, what are you do now? because Cam, I, you know it, too, because Cam's going to be feeling himself. Right. They think they, they just came he's off the big You already. <laughs> Big flail. Yeah, big flail. Yeah. In, in Way to Miami. Go, Way to get it together, that fucking 10 cent head. Yep, and Miami's going to be fired up. God. It's going to be a good game. This, yeah. is, this is the game of the week. Miami's, Miami's playing well. I'm pulling for Miami. But you're going to take Carolina? Come on. I'm going to go with Carolina. Yeah. Carolina. <laughs> God, I don't know. I don't know. I need a refill. Can we go into Sports Jeopardy so I can go get a refill when I'm done? Yeah, let's do it now. Go ahead. All right. Well, let, well, uh, Lo, who you got, man? Yeah, Lo. Okay, I'm, I'm yeah. going. We're cutting it close. I'm going. Uh, damn. I already put it down. Okay, I'm taking man. Carolina. Good. Carolina. Good man. Good man. All right, that sports jeopardy. Well. What Chicago Bears running back was known as the Galloping Ghost? <clears throat> That's Gale Sanders. Hmm. Warren no. Sapp. Uh, Did you say uh, Warren Sapp? No. Yeah, well, it, I would say Gail Sears, but it's a white it's guy. Not, it's not. It's not Gail Sears. It's, it's a one white guy. You don't have to make it racial. It's a it simple is, question. It is a white guy, though. I forgot his name. And he was All right. It was a good guy. Gotcha. It's All right. It's, not, it's, it's Harold Grange. Oh. Harold Grange. Thank you. Harold. Harold. Who was the oh, first? Oh, Harold. I told you it was old Harold. I know Harold well. Okay, I'm sorry. You're being racist and stuff. I am not. Stop saying it's stuff right like that. Who? Well, yeah, it's all right in this country, though. It's it. okay for us uh, to like the clan. We can take it, Coach. Who was the first golfer to win more than one million dollars in Wolf. official earnings in a single year? Ernie Els. No, no, it was, it it was a. Be, Hogan. It was no. It was the other guy. No, not Ben Hogan. Who was the other guy? It's got to be it's like sixties. 
Uh, um, Say some names. Jack, the bear. Something? Yeah, Jack Nick, the bear. Jack, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with that, too. Yeah, okay. Uh, Curtis Strange became the first golfer to pass $1 million in yearly earnings in 1988 when he won four titles. 1988? Yeah, Strange was named that player long? of the year in 85, 87, and 88. All right. What professional sports league's MVP trophy is called the Podoloff Cup? The what? Podoloff Cup. P O D O L O F F. All right, so it's a European. Some type of water. Sailing. The National Basketball Association established the cup named for Maurice Podolomp, the league's first commissioner, as its most valuable player award in 1956. Ray, what's the tallest mountain in the continental United States? Whitney. Anyone else want to make a guess? It's Whitney. It's Whitney. Whitney. It's Whitney. Good call, Lorenzo. You got it in at the buzzer. <laughs> Answer goes, Lorenzo. Thanks for playing. Lorenzo won again. Again. And that's ten for ten. Mean. And that's what D two. No, no, that's Jeopardy. D two. Oh! Every winner gets a lick. You know oh, that, Lorenzo. That's nice. God, you guys. He fun. licked my face. It's all right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, Pittsburgh. Wait. Uh, okay, we got Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Minus Malak. one and a half. Malak. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Really? Yep. Oh no way, guys, fellas! This is Cleveland all the way. They're on a they're on a tear. This is your lock, Lou? Yep. Wow. All right. Well, big bids at Cleveland. I know, but they just came off a huge win. They're not going to replicate that. That's they're going to be a little bit down. All right. I don't see it. That's my. You know what? Cleveland's my lock. Screw it. Got it. Chicago at St. Louis. Yeah, St. Louis is giving one and a half, right? Yep. Yeah. It's still Chicago. I like Chicago. I do too. We can't, you guys, we can't all be in cahoots. All right. You fucked up last time. You took Cleveland, so. It's yep. Good. Well, then this time I'm taking St. Louis. Got it. Low. Got it. Next game. We got Baltimore at home, giving three and a half against the Jets. Weird spread. Don't like that. No, nope. Baltimore. You think so? I do. It just pushed on Chicago. Mmm. Jets. What they flailed. What happened to them last week? Well, Buffalo killed them, right? Yep. Yeah. And that was my lot too. Yeah, yeah. You did well on that yes. one. Good call. Uh I'm going Baltimore. Sorry, Lon. I know you will. First, yeah, first, first pick on game we've ever had. I'm going Baltimore too with you guys in that one. Alright, in cahoots. Okay, we got Oakland at home. Straight pick 'em against Tennessee. I'm definitely going to Oakland. Nah, I'm taking Tennessee. Really? Why? Because it's smart. <laughs> Why? I don't. Because I don't fucking support the Raiders. I'm not. Okay. I don't like the Raiders. In the pick 'em game, I'm gonna go with my go with my heart. Okay, that's smart. What do you say, Lou? It's not smart. Uh, I, I I'm, I'm basing the decision off of a team I don't like. That's not smart at all. I know. I, I don't know what Raider team they, they they killed me last week. I went against them, so I'm, I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna take the Raiders because they're playing at home and they got destroyed by Philly at home two weeks ago. I look for him to try to bounce back. So and I'm that take, kid, that quarterback from Penn State, is pretty good. I mean, that's a great out. Yeah, man. Yeah, I liked him. All right, now we got Arizona. What's his name? McGowan. Yeah. We got Arizona at home, giving up two to Indy. This is a weird game. I like Zona. I'm taking Arizona. Really? <laughs> I'm taking Indy. Uh, Zona at home is a is a tough place to play, but. Uh, I'm still gonna take Indy. I think they come in. They come in strong. All right. So then you know what? Can that kid run a two-minute drill? By the way, what the fuck? Who? Andrew Luck. He's so sweet. Yeah, he's fucking he's great. so tight. Like he's he is sick. just he's consistent. Did you see San Diego's uh, two-minute drill? Yeah, I did. Flail. It was like high school. I know. God. Incredible. I like every two minute drill we've done for the last five years. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make another lock here with Indy. <laughs> Just Andy, okay, yeah. okay. So That's what I do. Okay, okay. That's how I do it. New Dallas York. off a of bye. Go ahead. Yes, bye. Dallas at New York, getting two and a half. Yeah, you know what? Um, Dallas is Dallas. Dallas, I'm you know what? New York. You want New York? I'm, I am too. Sorry, Lo. Because Dallas, Dallas and San Diego were one of the same team, as far as I'm concerned. You know, Dem quarterback. Yeah. How about Denver at New England? That's gonna be the hell of a game there. It's game of the week. Game of the week, no question. It is. Manning versus Brady. In the late game. That's nice. 
on NBC. I think, um, I, you know what, New England, they got jobbed out of the last game. I can't see them losing two in a row except for this week. So I'm going Denver. <laughs> I'm going Denver. And you know what, I'm going to make that another lock. What the hell? What's the point of a lock if you can have six of them? I don't have six. I only have one, two, three. I have four. Low has one. That was the way the lock system worked, is you pick one. Oh, really? <laughs> I look beyond that. What can I tell you? Uh, yeah, that's New England. You go with New England at home. Coming off a loss at home, the end of November. They don't have anybody, man. I'm going New England with you, Coach. They got, they got New out. Out. Kelly's out. Mayo's out. They Old are. Defense they, is they, out. They, 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 they no Belichick there? Yeah. They got cool. Four New England. We'll, we'll work on this. We'll do this. Me and my wife are getting along fine. New oh England. Oh my God. Him on, a, on those interviews are fantastic. Uh, New England. Dead Dead Dem Denver should win this game. They should. Denver's going to win this game. Yeah. I don't know. Denver's going to win this game. So, oh, you want to I'm going to win. I'm going to go. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to. Oh, you're flipping. Yeah. Hello. Very good. I'm taking You Danny. know. I just, but it's gonna be hard. Gronkowski's gonna give them problems. Yeah, he and will. they're in New England. It's gonna depends on the wet. I don't know what the weather's like. Who's but, guarding those receivers, man? No, I, Denver's just. So you got good. six yeah, five, two fifty, and speed. I mean, Denver's good. Crazy. My lock. Welker. San Francisco's gonna run. Oh, through this but guy. and also Welker going back. San but he might be out for no, the concussion. He's gonna, he's gonna get. Out. I'm gonna play, please. San Francisco. San Francisco, they're going to kill Washington. Washington, you have the quarterback crying and complaining. Yeah, I feel I feel badly for him, actually. I really do. You, hey, then, listen, you didn't you didn't have to play this year. You could have sat on the side. Everyone was talking about Cousins. Cousins could have got it done. You were begging the coach, I want to play. Let me play. I'm running out there, showing out in front of the media, showing my ass, running down the sideline, taking my rehab, brace out, rehab. rehab. I'm all ready. Oh, put me in a game. I'm ready to go take it. You have left Cousins in. Let Cousins play this year. You sit on the bench. You get healthy and watch. But now you want to step in and now you want to complain and talk about the coach? You can't pray for Rain Ray and complain about the mud. No. True. I'm with you on that one. I, I feel sorry I'm for uh, Shane. Me too. Really You're do. talking about you feel sorry for the kid. Yeah. That's the thing about I'm talking about discipline and bullying. Sometimes you need to and look at Shanahan getting the blunt of this. They're giving it to this kid and making it seem like the coach's fault and let him run the team. You can't have you can't have they, two they roosters. Back, they they backpedaled a little bit and they're all in cahoots now. But every everybody speaks out of school. I mean we all have. When do you see Tom Brady speak out? When do you see Tom? When do you see Peyton Manning speak out? When do you see Drew Brees speak out? When do you see leaders speak out? Absolutely. Have you ever seen? When do you see? No, there when are do you ever see? When do you see Steve McNair speak out? When do? When have you seen guys that were great quarterbacks? The Neil. When have you seen it? They go with status quo. They don't blame it on the coach. I'm they look at themselves in the mirror and say, "We didn't make enough plays." You, on the other hand, you're the one that's changing this thing. I'm, what am I doing? How, 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 do, how do I? How am I always the bad guy in your thing? Just because I hate you now, I'm taking Washington. Ooh, be angry. And I'm making that a lot. No. Do you hate him? I'm not making it. Do you hate him because of his color or something else he said? That's everything. All of the above. All right. A through Z. He's nah, hating because take take you're taking Washington because of the Redskins. You can't go do that and then walk back. I there. had to go poop. It smells it kind of weird in here. It's, well, it's, excuse me, maybe what? I didn't wash my hands properly. I don't know. It's one of those where you just keep wiping and keep wiping. Wait, who's driving? And I don't know who's uh, in charge of building this new studio, but I flushed the toilet and the lights went off. So I don't know what's going on around this place. <laughs> it's on a sensor. There you go. Oh, you, Things Ray. are good now. Cameraman. Will I not get my what's new with D2 sound effect with the new studio yet? What's this? Oh, it's like my grandpa's Stop pipe. It. <laughs> my grandpa smoked this pipe. <laughs> They're oh, I need to grow up, Neil. <laughs> All right, that, grow the that. fuck up. <laughs> hey, D2. Yes. You want you want to sound off? I do. Close it up. I do. I do. You ready? Yeah, I am. We're bringing Howard. We haven't had Howard Cassell in forever. Uh, Ray's been bringing in a little boys. This is my time. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, take the mic. What's new with D2? Um, what happened was, I uh, this was inspired this last week by the Raiders win, and I was sitting there watching it, and I got a little lump in my throat, and I thought, you know, this poor team, they, they used to be the measure of greatness, now they're one of the worst, they I mean, lose week after sense. week. You know a guy named Lump? <laughs> no. I don't get it. Why are you laughing? You don't get it either. So anyway, I'm in your throat. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, 
Um, I, I felt inspired to write a letter. <laughs> uh, letter. Excuse me, excuse me, a poem ah. for the Raider faithful because I do admire them. So this is called Ode to the Raider Fan. It's not me, guys. Somewhere a dog wasn't kicked. Somewhere a wife wasn't beat. On this day, a man reports to his parole yeah, officer was. instead of retreat. Somewhere an employee doesn't call in sick. Somewhere a shower is taken. Somewhere a friend is not forsaken. It's a big day. The Raiders have won. And those who typically do not have a life, today they have won. And that's been What's New with D2. Wow, well, thank, thank you. you. And with that, wonderful. thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, OE Faithful. But now we get to see how good I look. I got my automatic body shirt on today. You know, Nutri, so you got to go to joinlow.com and get fit. I mean, Ray, you saw when I walked in the room, yeah, and well, you saw you the saw way that I was looking. So I know, I've only done some push ups. No, outside. it's just me really taking some was, great This products. was me before Nutri, all right? <laughs> Everyone saw me walking around, it was embarrassing. I took Nutri, and that's just what happened. Thank, Thank you, you, Lorenzo. That's what to do with D2. Yeah. Go to joinlow.com and check it out. And also, go go to our, get, can we get some money around here? Tell us where we get some money. Where can we yeah, get man. some money? Yeah, man, go hit up, uh, go hit up that PayPal button or that Amazon button on uh, rayandlorenzo.com. If you're going to buy something off Amazon, click through the banner on our site. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it keeps us in business. So, uh, yeah, man, I mean, listen, we're, we're over in the new studio. We're trying to do this. Let's hit it up. Go it's to rayandlorenzo.com. Yeah. And uh, it's common not Corolla now. Don't there forget to follow. It's the dingy, uh, pirate don't dingy. Don't follow yeah. Ray on Twitter at Ray Oldhoffer. Follow Lorenzo on Twitter at Lorenzo Neal. Uh, follow D2 on Twitter at D2 Polo. And uh, yes. yeah, go to Ray Lorenzo. I've got 30 followers too. And well, you might want to get in quick. I don't know how many you can have, but I got to be close to filling up. D2 Polo up to 30 followers right now. Probably only fit a few more. Well, you're there. writing. You write like you're lefty. Oh uh, well. I don't know what you do, what you do, what you do, but you keep doing what you do. You once told me you masturbated with your left on occasion because it made you feel like you were getting some strange. Hey, what's up? I can't even go right. Left, I make my right hand so fall much. asleep and then. All right, we're then with that we're out. And with that, thank you everyone. Good evening.